this is my instructional video on how to um, solder the wires to this um, motor. Um, one of the most important things is getting a good strip on the wire. If you cut the wire too deep, you'll get um, the wires will break, especially if you have stranded wire like these. And I would assume that um, stranded wire is what you're using. You have to have a, a good good strippers. These are fairly fairly decent strippers. But to make sure you have them to the set to the right wire gauge, and to do this, it has an adjustable nut and it slides up and down. So what you want to do, you want know, to adjust it to the gauge of the wire, or if you don't know the gauge of the wire, adjust it to where it's just going to cut the wire and not the not the uh, wires underneath. So you strip both wires. As you can see, these are these are strained wires. So you have to, when you do that, you want to twist them to get all the wires together on both the leads. And then depending on your method of holder, I just, I just use the uh, alligator clip to hold my wire. You'll want, to, uh, you'll want to tin these wires before you put them through the, through the motor connector there. And I'm using a 60 watt Weller soldering iron. Well, it says 100 watt, sorry. And um, has a, uh, a fat tip on it. I think fat tips are best. You can use a fine tip if you want to. It's, the method is still the same. Make sure your tip is always clean. I use a wet sponge to clean your tip. And then you want to tin your tip as well. So to tin your tip, you just add a couple of drops of solder to each side. And then you get the excess solder off again by using your sponge. To tin the wires, you want to touch your soldering iron to your wire first. Then apply solder. Go to the length of the wire. You don't want it blobbed. You want it consistent. You want a straight wire. This makes it more solid. The same thing with the other wire. Heat the wire. Run the solder down it. off the excess solder and you have your wires tinned and for your motor sorry this is the only holder I could have hope this is clear enough for you turn the line down just a little bit you can see on the motor that you will have an untinned connectors these are just um, your copper connectors these as well, Let me zoom out a little bit. These as well, you want to tin them as well. The tricky thing here is here, you don't want to fill up the holes. I'm going to apply just a little solder. If you do fill up the hose, it's okay. Because what we'll do is so we'll heat we'll heat the connector. Allow your wire to go through, like so. Once your wire is through, you want to take your excess, bend it up, and then do the same thing. You want to twist this wire around the connector. Get the wire out of the way here, like so. So you got your wire through the connector. Now you want I don't know now what you want to do is to apply your solder. What you do is you want to heat your post first. Put your flat part of solder iron against your post. Apply your solder. Apply a good amount here. Then let go both at the same time. So you apply your solder iron your solder and then release both of them at the same time and I'll show an image of the close-up of the solder when we're done so you 
then again you want to do your other side which you've already tinned it hit your post stick your wire through pull your wire up twist it around Hit your post, apply your solder, knock it off both at the same time. It's not don't have to be real pretty, but what you're looking for is you're looking for a very shiny solder connection here. So that's how you actually connect the wires to the terminals. And I'll stop here and I'll take some uh, close-ups of the of the solder joints. Uh, to show you what a good and bad solder joint looks like.